Dementia is defined as a loss of memory and other thinking functions which interfere with day-to-day -day life. Dementia care is key and critical to what we do as an organisation. Um, the reality is that uh, we currently have in care around 740 residents um, and approximately 50% of those residents would be suffering from some form of uh, cognitive impairment or memory loss or dementia or Alzheimer's. It's becoming more and more common. Figures released in 2017 indicate there are over 400,000 people with dementia in Australia now. That figure in the next 40 years is set to exceed 1.1 million people. I suppose our relationship with, uh, with both the University of New South Wales and, and Chiba specifically um, really came about because of our pursuit of providing best practice in all areas of, of care delivery. And Chiba has been partnering with Montefiore for the last decade. We're very proud to be partners with Monty. And Monty was a, a sponsor for Chiba, which allowed us to form the centre within the University of New South Wales. Chiba's vision is through research healthier brain ageing and better clinical care of people with age-related brain disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. We were extremely fortunate to be able to secure uh, Professor Henry Bradati as our uh, Chair of Healthy Brain Ageing and to work collaboratively with us in relation to research and identifying best practice. Uh, but more importantly, Henry is really focused on not just identifying best practice, but assisting us with translating those findings into the practical application of what we do. Well, that means that we can actually see the benefits of the research long before the papers are written up, long before the statistics come out. We get the researchers coming in, we work with our staff, and the residents get the benefits immediately, in real time, on the floor, straight away. So Montefiore's contribution to Chiba's research has really been critical. It's enabled us to do research which would improve care. The oral health care study showed that by training lead nurses, we could get nurses to devise plans and implement them for 90% of the residents in this study. A second example, the HALT study was a study in de-prescribing antipsychotics in nursing homes. At Monty, we had 22 of our residents go through this project. We had enormous success with all 22 of our residents. We found that by the use of alternate therapies such as music therapy, dance therapy and sensory therapies and also with our philosophy of care which is very person-centred, we were able to reduce these challenging behaviours when we took them off their antipsychotics. We saw a significant improvement in the quality of life of those residents that we were able to reduce their, their medication usage. A third example, we've worked with an occupational therapist at Montefiore and Randwick and she's introduced a program of combining sensory and cognitive stimulation and shown again it reduces agitation and improves the day-to-day -day lives of people with dementia in the nursing home. In addition to the uh, benefits to residents that the research and our practical application provides, um, we have found another tangible benefit um, and that's uh, the way that uh, Chiba and Montefiore can work together to engage our staff in the research projects, um, which has really added to their personal development and growth. Monty was one of the 35 nursing homes in the SMILE study which became famous locally because it was featured on an ABC documentary. And we showed that using humour therapy, having somebody come in with the staff, and the staff continuing with that humour therapy between those sessions, reduced agitation levels in residents, reduced their depression, and improved their quality of life. There are now nursing homes all over Australia using this program. The latest research project we're doing with Chiba is a very exciting one and it's all around communication. This project is around empowering our families and staff to communicate effectively for the benefit of our residents. In addition to the benefits that our research programs uh, in collaboration with Chiba provide to our residents, families and staff members, 
Um, we also recognise that there is a significant broader application of the findings of our research. The lessons we learn from this research applies to everybody, not just in Australia but internationally. So we publish these results in international journals. There is just so much we can do through research to improve the care and improve the quality of life of the people who have come to live in the Monte. This is their home for the rest of their life for the families who care so much about them, and for the staff. For us, it's a real privilege to work with Henry and his Chiba team and benefit from their insights and expertise. So where are we going from here? What's the future? Well, the future we know is the increasing numbers of people with dementia, the increased need for understanding ways to prevent it, to cure it, to treat it, to care for people. And we at Chiba are dedicated to doing this. There is no doubt that the relationship we've had with Chiba has been constructive and delivered positive outcomes for our residents. In order for us to maintain that relationship with Chiba, we will need your ongoing support.